Now we're gonna show you something that is brand new, just in time for the holidays. We are making waffles. Waffle and, time. Oh my gosh, who doesn't love waffles? It was the only thing I craved when I was pregnant with Adriana. I wanted waffles. <laughs> but it's not easy to get the right waffle now, is it? You know what, waffles are one of those things that you either get right or you get wrong. Very but wrong. here's what's so cool. You can cook so many different things in a Belgian style waffle iron. And that's what I love about it. Now, the interesting thing is you need to get one of the ones that you can flip around, okay? And we did a little bit of research, right, Kat? We did. And we have had so much fun because you're gonna not you're not gonna believe how many different things we can cook in a waffle iron. This one, and we've got little timers set here because they they need to be in for like three, four three minutes. Minutes, right? mm -hmm. uh, depending on, on what the batter is that you're using. And you're going to see some of the wacky stuff that we're, uh, we're actually That's cooking in here. Ready. Is this one good? Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. So Kat's just doing little ones here so you can see the outside. And then, of course, me being greedy, I'm going to come and fill them up and do really big ones. But this is like... Um, one that you just take out and dip. So what's the Mexican donut? Mix it the, into the, a churro. the churro. So we're going to take that out of the cinnamon sugar and then a little bit of chocolate sauce. I want you to think about all the different ways that you can entertain the kids over the holiday period with these beautiful, beautiful different types of waffles that we're going to make. Wow, nearly 100 of you pre-ordered this, okay? So if you want this, $49.95, already going quickly, three flex payments on it. And, you know, when you think about the things that we love, Breakfast is something that we celebrate, but don't just think that this is just for waffles. If you want to go savory, you know, everybody's <laughs> doing, whoops, everybody's doing the chicken and waffles now and everything else at these restaurants. Right. You can do this. It's so simple, so easy. So uh, tell me how the machine works. So look, what we've got is you can see I'm it standing this good. up and there's a ball down the bottom here. The best point of reference I have truthfully is the Dyson on how that okay. rotates around. Good point. Because it, it rotates around like that, rotates back around like that. So the the idea is you pour your batter in and then as it's starting to settle you flip it on itself so mm -hmm. then it gets to all corners and that's what's really important. Now this is just a typical waffle that you do on a Sunday morning. It's, it's, it's just the typical batter. This is how it comes out and you can see how we've got the colour so beautifully even and mm -hmm. all the way down. What happens sometimes when you buy a cheap waffle iron is they'll use really thin plates. When I say plates, I mean the actual um, non-stick pieces that come into contact. Now, if they're too thin, the heat's gonna disappear out of them. We've used beautiful thick ones, so that heat retention is really, really there. And that's what's gonna give you beautiful, even caramelization. And I'm gonna show you that in here in just a moment. But I wanna show you some of the other uses. See this right here? Mm -hmm. That's leftover mac and cheese. It is not. I promise you it, it is. is. It's so, ready too. So, so see how that's in there? Okay. Okay. So, let so you took just mac up. and cheese and kind of flattened it? And you just flatten it out. So look how crispy and fantastic. Oh. It actually needs another minute. Oh, but you, what, what you do is you pick up the, uh, the, like this, and you just drop the whole thing in. And I tell you, it is on another level. It's so, so delicious. But let's come back to the waffles, the original, because this is what you're going to use it for. Look at that beautiful mm. colour that you've got in there. Crispy, crispy so, on the outside. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Is that perfection? Isn't that How just many brilliant? times have you had a soggy, rubbery waffle? I have a Belgian waffle iron, and every time I pull it out, I go, how do people get it so crispy? I must be using right. the wrong recipe. It's not. Well, it's you your need machine. The, you need the iron. And, and you need to be able to do this with it, by the way, is just flip it over on itself, just, just like it that. Flip it right on over, and that is the magic. It is also the perfect size. I love this size. It's, it really is. So you see this here? This is mm -hmm. a chocolate waffle. So you, that's just putting chocolate into the batter. Um, this one's been going oh, for... Oh, is that what smells so good? Look at that. Oh. Right? It smells amazing. Kat, you're being so stingy. Put more in, my Hi. darling. I, I don't want small little <laughs> waffles oh like God. this. <laughs> so there's a chocolate waffle over here. We've done chicken and waffles. Mm -hmm. Now, I thought of something before. What happens if you've got a little leftover stuffing from Thanksgiving? Well, okay. guess what? Just use that stuffing mixture in the batter. Just go ahead. Oh, look. Thanks, Kat. Why not? Yeah, this one's empty. You can try this one. All you do is you take a little bit of the batter okay. and you pour over some of that stuffing mixture and then when, when your waffles, um, when it's preheated and ready to go, I think we've already got this one in here. That one's good to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. The pizza's really quick, so it takes a minute for the pizza. Oh, you put a, oh, you put pizza in the waffle We put pizza. We put pizza, pizza you know what, when you've got a leftover slice of pizza in the fridge, there's no better way 
And you, you, I know you think I'm crazy doing this. But I think you just, you're crazy, yeah. but it's kind of crazy good. You just watch it. You just watch it. Now, you don't have to clip it all the way down. So you just throw it in. And, and, and a little waffle uh, batter. Waffle batter. Push that down. You don't okay. have to put the clip on it if you put in something a bit bigger like pizza in. Okay. But here's what happens when you put in a piece of leftover pizza from mm -hmm. the night before. You actually caramelize the cheese on that waffle iron, and it tastes so good. You're really <laughs> going to just be so amazed. Um, so cornbread. Okay. Cornbread. This one. Oh, now I don't have any timers on over here, Kat, my darling. So you're gonna have to tell me because I'm flying a bit blind. One that one just went in. Okay. And okay. is this one? Oh no, here we go. Right. So again, thinking outside the box, what else can you do? Mm, We've made some cornbread. grilled cheese sandwich. We put a little ham and cheese, as you can see. Okay. And watch this again. You think that you wouldn't do that in a waffle iron, but you go ahead and push that all the it way down. It works just like a press almost. No, I mean, you way. can flip it, but truthfully, you don't really have to mm -hmm. when you're doing something like a sandwich. It's not going to make much difference. Um, but that's going to be so delicious. And in fact, that's how it Look comes out. Look at how out. cute this is. <gasps> See how you're getting that caramelization? Oh, your kids are going to love that, aren't they? They sure are. Look at they that, sure, both sure sides. Are. You know what? It's just fun to, to do something a little bit different, to have a little bit of fun with it, to do change up the presentation. And it does change the way that it tastes when you press it like oh, that. Oh, yeah, it mm -hmm. does, because you get that caramelization. And mm -hmm. that's what's so important, that crispy crispiness. So over here, we've just started some potatoes. And have a look at how they come out. So again, just grated potatoes with just a little bit of butter. You can serve that with a little sour cream. You can serve it with some chives, of course. And you've got this incredible dish that you would never have thought of for a waffle iron. Right. But, you know, the waffle iron, you know, there's actually a book out that's... What's it called? Can you waffle it? Will it waffle? Will it waffle? Will it waffle? And there's so many different recipes that you can do. In fact, this comes with 15 yes. recipes that we've purpose written just for the waffle iron. That's right. So 15 recipes come with it. The rotation means you're going to get that perfect waffle every single time. But it's not just about waffles. It's about mac grilled mac and, and cheese. Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh! Look I at mean, that. come on. Okay. That no. is pretty that's special. Good. No, that's. I'm going to get another nuts. one. On. Imagine doing that in your home and i will tell you everything smells so <laughs> sensational it is crazy for 49.95 get it home try it and believe me your family will love it every single time you know it, it's enough that it just makes incredible beautiful waffles of perfection and let's talk about this because when you pick one up right. see how light that is uh -oh. it is so yeah. light and almost aerated and it's beautiful and crispy on the outside but just gorgeous and light and fluffy on the inside see that and that's what you get i was telling you before oh about the weight of the um the the plates and in fact they're very very easy to um to remove so let me it's show you almost like it melts you in literally your mouth. press the button and that waffle is gonna that um plate is gonna fall straight off there mm -hmm. now this is really hot but look at the thickness can you see the thickness that we've put we've put on those um, on those uh, plates, and that's what gives you the quality. Again, you won't do this while it's hot, of course, like right. me. But when but it's in um, order when to, it's, to clean it, so you can just pop the plates out. You just you remove the plates and oh you pop God. them straight that's in great. the dishwasher. Yeah, B because the cleanup is is what's so difficult on some of the others. How in the in the world are you ever going to be able to clean those? I have one where the plates don't pop pop out. It never feels clean. These plates pop out for $49.95. It comes with two LED lights. Everything about this rotating, that perfect size as well. 15 inches long, about eight and three quarters of an inch in terms of your, your width, and then five inches high. But it's not gonna take up a lot of room, but it is going to give you lots of options when it comes to whether it's pizza, whether it's waffles. What are you gonna do with those waffles? So this is actually a cornbread mixture. So you can see the cornbread mix in there. Ooh. Yeah. So, you know, all the flavor from cornbread, and have a look at this. So if you want to just let it sit there for just a second and it'll dry, it'll, um, the steam will sort of get off it, and that's when the, the crisp comes in. But have a look at this. Imagine serving this with a chili with some cornbread waffle sort of dippers. Cornbread waffles. Because you know why that's nice? Because then the little, the little um, spaces are going to get and hold the chili so right. when you bite it, it doesn't just roll off of it. See, you do love food. I know you do. I do. Because only someone that it's... absolutely loves food thinks like that. They're like, hold on a minute. I'm going to get obsessed. more. I, and I'm sorry, but I have to try that. I Please have do. never seen anything like this. I would never have thought of doing cornbread 
in your waffle iron. Okay, wow. Right, isn't it great? And look, this is how easy it is. Let me show it to you one more time. You dump that mixture inside, you go ahead and close the lid, you flick the switch, you flick the little clamp, and then you just spin it. Spin it, and oh there it God. goes. That is so good. Isn't it delicious? Mm -hmm. You need to try that. <laughs> I know, don't worry. I've been snacking on it all day long. Wow. It's crunchy, it's fantastic. But Let's the have cornbread a look at... changes the chili. Mm. But the crispiness of mm, the cornbread. Right. Oh my gosh. It is amazing. You know when you eat cornbread, oh. you eat the top, you eat the sides, uh -huh. and then you're kind of left with the middle. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? Now, it's all crunchy sides, beautiful mm. pieces on the outside of... Mm, okay. So good. Okay. Dude, there's so many things with that. Look, now I'm just there's thinking, the stuffing. Can I put, like, biscuit batter in Are there? You sure can. Oh, okay. You can do donut oh, batter. God. Okay, I just got crazy. This is, is oh. biscuit batter. This is Isn't biscuit batter. Check that out. Look at that's the stuffing, by the way. That's the stuffing. So leftover okay, stuffing after Thanksgiving, bits right. of sausage, doesn't matter. In it goes, and it's just fabulous. All right, I'm going to try like a little bite, but it's super hot. But I have to try this stuffing because I'm a stuffing freak. <gasps> Look at the biscuits that you're able to do. Look at how beautiful this is. You know, you could even do this with those um, with those cinnamon rolls that you just buy and you know you just heat them up. Right. Right. Absolutely. If you put them in here. Wouldn't it be so much more interesting? Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm hmm In fact... It cooks in about two minutes with the biscuit batter or with the cinnamon, race, the you, you, cinnamon rolls. You got mm -hmm. some, didn't you? I and did. tried it. Yeah, yes. it works. It absolutely okay. works. And now if you did your stuffing like this and you put your gravy in it, it's going to hold the gravy. Or imagine a piece of fried chicken okay, served with this. Okay, you just got me so I mean, excited. This is crazy. A little bit of gravy. This is crazy There's, fun. You can see the sausage and the onions mm. and all the delicious flavors that are in there. I'm Crunchy. just going to keep walking around looking for new oh, ones. Right, right. Oh, oh, yum. One. Okay, I do have to taste the mac and cheese, too. Right here. Got another one in Look there. at the waffle mac and cheese. Look at how crazy crunchy this is. Oops. And you know what? So many waffle makers just don't do crunchy. Right, they don't. They do kind of close, but not quite. And they also just leave it soggy. But the plates popping out is key. If those plates don't pop out, 